Are the Shaq Daddy challenges broken? That's the million dollar question. This week, we dive into the open forum to hear your thoughts and share our own. Welcome back to the Riders Report. Before we get started, a special thank goes out to our YouTube members who made this week's episode possible. Thank you to executive producers Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34. And everyone loves Gahan. Along with co-producers Mitch's Mom and Steep Steep. And not to forget our fans and Fans Plus. You can hit join down below or just hang around for the end of this video to learn about our exclusive content and channel perks. It's a relatively slow news week, but Ubisoft has two little updates. First, on the connectivity issues, some people were reporting issues joining the multiplayer mode, whether it's a disorganization or you're having a certain error pop up. They are aware of that and they are trying to fix the issue. They also posted another open forum. This time they are looking for everyone's feedback on the Shack Daddy Bandit challenges. Do you like them? Do you not like them? What do you want to change? So you can comment either on Reddit, on the Ubisoft forum, or on their Discord server, your thoughts on the challenges. But we'll be talking our... <laughs> you got so close. We're so, going to be talking... I had the final sentence there in we my go. mouth. Here we go. Keep it rolling. We're going to be talking about these open forums coming up next in the main topic. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Leave all of that in yeah. there. And you know what? We're even rolling right now. So let's okay. just let's just dive into it. Um, you summed it up perfectly. <laughs> mm -hmm. They posted about the Shack Daddy Bandits challenges, wanting to know just general feedback. Uh, they gave us a couple of bullet points to focus on for the community to focus on, such as and you can read along. Links are down below, just as they always are. Uh, devs want to know, how do you feel about the objectives and the rewards? Do you think they're too quick to comp to complete or are they too long to, to finish? Are they too easy? Or are they too hard? What are your thoughts about the challenge costs, the, the cost that you have to pay to you know pay to play the Shack Daddy challenges? And finally, would you like anything more from them? Anything else you want to share about weekly challenges in general? So we have a couple uh, a couple community members here. We know that we, we tried to pick viewers of the show uh to feature uh starting out here with lucas but we have a couple others uh, i believe you were pulling these from their discord and i pulled one from reddit so we have a good spread across the two platforms but uh it's time to talk shack daddy bandits challenges yes and the first comment that we did pull was from lucas he said they would it would be nice to see something to see more interesting challenges then do the same thing X amount of times. Yeah. He wants to see something like specific combos or jump a certain distance with something like a snowmobile where everyone would be on a level playing field. The uh, whole thing about the Shack Daddy Bandits right now is how wacky they are. So the challenges should have a similar tone to that. Yeah. And that last sentence that he put in there is really the one that that sends all of this thing home. The whole thing about Shack Daddy Bandits is how wacky they are. Mm -hmm. The Shack Daddy Bandits are just this insane posse of people that call themselves the Shack Daddy Bandits. I mean, I don't know another video game. I don't know another video game that's at a, what, AAA title? Is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right. Yeah. A AAA title that uses the term daddy. Mm -hmm. anywhere in their branding uh, and it is like front and center with riders republic and that's just you know hey it's not it's not a sexual thing it's not a joke but it's just like they're just wacky they're they're crazy folks uh they're wearing the the sparkly pants and all that good stuff so you would think that their challenge sets would be a little bit more wacky that they would play along with that energy and we kind of just have these Fortnite like eh, get into the game play it for an hour or two get out you collect your challenges you pay some money to play them and that's the other thing that I have an issue with you are using your in-game currency mm -hmm. to play challenges that are not challenging and they're not super rewarding they're they're not very engaging kind of just go out there collect do come back yeah it 
They, I mean, some of them aren't even as exciting as the Fortnite ones. At least there, you have to emote in a certain location yeah. or, you know, pull Follow off a, a storyline. Yeah, there's some, it makes you go around the map more. The Shack Daddy Bandit challenges from two weeks ago. We have complete 15 events, land a combo worth 25,000 with a bike, get 300 ranking points in mass races, complete three showdown matches, tricks, battle matches, match races, or free for all events, and earn 40 stars. None of those, Crazy. except maybe the bike combo are actually exciting. The rest are just spend three hours playing right. these different modes that you might not enjoy. Yeah. What was the second to last one? Um, three showdown challenges, a tricks battle and yeah. So you, you have to, I, th I think you have to do three of either showdown tricks, battle uh, mass race or free for all. So you just have to do three multiplayer matches. But again, right. that goes into the other problem you brought up where each one of these, you have to pay anywhere from 500 to 3000 of the in-game currency just to unlock the challenge to complete and all of them except two all you're getting from it is 10 stars five stars you're just trading in-game yeah. currency for in-game levels <laughs> right yeah, yeah. And, and and the journey there is literally i mean log on play a session that is just multiplayer sessions multiplayer modes mm -hmm. play three showdowns how long is a showdown match five minutes yeah, yeah, some of them are five. Fif that's 15 plus Q. Yeah, and you know, mass races are three mass races. That's right. That's 15 hour. by <laughs> itself. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just, it feels to me, just based off of last <laughs> week's challenges, that they're like, hey, we need our numbers boosted. So if you can help and just like stay in the game for a little longer, that'd be awesome. Um, and again, this is not knocking the entire game this is an open forum we are openly discussing the topics that were presented um yeah it doesn't feel like there's a lot of thought it doesn't f it feels like they built shack dad the shack daddy bandits before deciding what they were supposed to do mm -hmm. someone came up and went whoa here's this crazy idea here's all of the artwork for it here's what we're going to call them here's how they're going to sound here's going to be the vibe and then they're like okay but what do we do with these hey, i think they cosmetics I think they just came up with the idea for weekly challenges and had yeah. to find a way to put them in the game and already had the shack daddies there. And yeah. they're like, I guess we can give it to them. So they're more involved. But yeah, I mean, the other big problem too, with having to pay the currency for it is if it's like you and me, where we work a lot, we only play riders Republic maybe once a week for an hour or two. I only have like $2,000 in game currency. So I'm not going to spend all of that to then make myself have to play three showdown matches just to get five stars and you don't get in game currency that much once you've yeah. done all the challenges like we i have at least so you get maybe three thousand bucks in the game every hour so you got to play like five or ten hours just to get enough money to unlock all of the shack daddy challenges yeah now i mean would you do you think you would play the shack daddy challenges more if they were just called weekly challenges and the shack daddy thing was something completely else. Like if the shack daddy was just certain events, you mm -hmm. know, shack daddy, funky, funky sport events, would you be more willing to play a weekly challenge set? Because I feel like most of these comments here are like, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like something mm -hmm. it feels like you put a party hat on something normal and you're like, well, look at this crazy thing. And it's just, something normal that every every game has a weekly challenge you're just calling it something different it's a weekly shack daddy challenge um it feels like they're they're putting a hat on a hat yeah i they yeah they either need to be crazier for the shack daddies and i would just play them again if i didn't have to pay for them i don't look at them right. because to get the cool skis you have to complete five shack daddy bandit challenges which means spending like ten thousand in-game bucks and several hours to unlock a set of skis. Right. And if I'm playing one hour a week, I'm just not going to look at them at all. If they were free, it would be a lot more likely for me to log in and check out all the challenges and be like, oh, I should cater my gameplay towards those so I can try to unlock them. I'm not even attempting to unlock them because of that kind of barrier. Or, and you know, I, I'm not sure how this does with IP and, and legal wise, but even Fortnite, you know, you get you're able to level up to level 100 without paying to play, right? Mm -hmm. You don't sign up for the season pass. You can still complete 
challenges, daily, weekly challenges to collect yeah, XP in the game mm-hmm. and, and rank up. I wonder if they do something like that, where you can play the Shack Daddy challenges and get X X prize, X, you know, XP in the game, whatever else, currency. But if you're signed up for the season pass, the Shack Daddy challenges will also give you a funky item every single time. Mm-hmm. Some, some kind of tiered system like that, where it's everyone can play it for free, but if you pay for the next five, you know, the, the you, we'll give you five challenges, but if you pay for the last three challenges, you're going to unlock something bigger and better, more worth your time and more worth the money that you're, you're putting towards it. I could, yeah, maybe see that if you get, um, maybe the best way, cause right now, a lot of times there's, I think there's almost always a challenge that is the master challenge where if you complete five Shack Daddy Bandit challenges, like five of the six, then you unlock a cool set of skis or a cool piece of gear Mm -hmm. or apparel. Maybe that one you could price lock. The rest of them should be free, but maybe like that, you're paying maybe 10,000 bucks to get the skis, but you have to complete all the free challenges first. So it's just the extra level gives you the option to buy it. Right. And and I'm not saying that 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 pair of skis is the exclusive item that you mm-hmm. unlock. There are also, you know, you're getting XP, you're getting stars along the way. Mm-hmm. Um still just as the free system. Um but this this also ties into another comment that we pulled up into the chat here. Um Saint over on the Discord said uh, I think the challenges should get along the lines of other game chat like other Shack Daddy game challenges, completing activities using the funkies. There should be a clearer separation of clothing and kits by keeping the realistic stuff with the realistic levels and keeping all of the funky, you know, I, I, I'm paraphrasing the comment here, but basically Shack Daddy Bandit challenges should just be funky challenges. Mm-hmm. And whenever you complete Shack Daddy challenges, you get funky items, you get funky clothing, funky sports, funky kits. It, there shouldn't be this bleed over. You shouldn't be getting a, a, a basic t-shirt or a pair of jeans for completing a Shack Daddy challenge. It should be something silly and along the lines. Mm-hmm. It goes back to what we said at the very beginning of the main topic, which they, they kind of missed the mark on the vibe and the energy that they were going for. They shot real big and said, look at these crazy sons of hmm, running around this mountain. And what do you get in return? Oh, they're giving you a pair of shoes. Uh, okay. <laughs> they're giving you a, a green or a blue bike. Yeah. All right. Not even clown shoes. It's not crazy. <laughs> yeah, give me a pair of clown shoes. Give me a party hat to wear on the mountain. Give me a bike that's made of of you know pool noodles or or, or rubber bands. What a, something silly. Have fun with the game. If you're going to put this kind of silly, fun-hearted energy into the game, give it back to us. You know, don't make these. Uh, yeah. That that's basically what Saint was saying here, and I agree. I also agree full heartedly. That would fix their issue with. Their weekly challenges are over here. Shack Daddy challenges are over here. They're two different things. Full stop. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. don't think that it fits the energy of a weekly grind. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. I think when they said they were getting Shack Daddy Bandit challenges, when they first announced it, they didn't say weekly challenges. So mm-hmm. I was thinking that it was going to right. be a whole wacky side of the game. Like you join the Shack Daddy Bandits. And you start doing all this crazy stuff and they just kind of put the weekly challenges on them, kept it a normal weekly challenge level. Yeah. Um, I did see on the forum a really good comment. This comes from uh, A-N-A-M-W-Y, A-N-M-Y, maybe? I don't sure. know if it's supposed Hold to be it. pronounced. They uh, talk a little bit about how with uh, some of their conditions, like they don't get to play the game a ton of time. And one of the biggest comments that kind of sparked an idea in me was that maybe there should be a system in place. And this came from someone else too. um, system in place where you can obtain the last week's rewards in case you miss them. Mm -hmm. We've talked about that before as well. Yeah. So combining all of these, if they still want to make you pay for some reason, these bucks, what if right now, again, in this picture that I have, there is the black camo pants as one unlock and the hero master skis as the other unlock. Um, what if you can complete the challenge and then you can pay the 3000 and just get that reward or yeah. all of those new items from the shack daddy bandits go into like a shack daddy bandit shop. And the only way to unlock them is to 
redeem a number of free challenges you've completed. So maybe if you don't pay the 3000 bucks, you have to exchange three completed free challenges. Like you get a star. Yeah. And then you can, you don't get every Shack Daddy Bandit item, but you can pick and choose based on how much effort you've put in. Because right now, you're never going to get the Hero Master skis and that weekly item that requires five challenges. You're never going to get those unless you grind these. But if you play a challenge or two every week and it's in a store, then you can, you know, pull them together. You're exactly right. Uh, and that's not too far-fetched, I mm -hmm. would think, either. Um yeah, I have nothing else to add to that. I really like that system, and it speaks to, you know, how many times have you and I in the last 30 episodes sat back and said, oh, I wasn't able to get that bike. I mm -hmm. wasn't able to get that pair of skis. I wasn't able to get those shiny pants because this week was just crazy. I have a full-time job. You have a full-time job. We live with significant others and animals. Like, there, life is going on. And I can no longer sit down and just grind a game for four hours at night because I have other things to do. So for a game to sit there and say, well, you didn't get it. So sorry, that stinks. Sorry. It doesn't make me want to come back and try to get the next week's items because yeah. I missed that. You know, like there's just this time crunch element that it doesn't the the community of riders doesn't seem to be that hungry for this weekly grind. It needs to be a little more stretched out. It needs to be over a period of time. Can those can the shop reset after, say, two weeks, mm -hmm. three weeks? You know, do you get an extra three days or, you know, 72 hours, whatever, after the challenge ends, they're still in the shop? Something, just something to make it a little longer, a little more uh, helpful for folks that don't have the time to, like you said, you know, complete three mass races in in, in a week. That's a big ask for some folks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, just, you know, all in all. We agree with the community, and it seems that these are the overarching issues that everyone is bringing up. Um, these challenges seem tedious and uninteresting, is a quote from Breaking Bad Finger on Reddit. Uh, Saint, Shack Daddy Bandit's rewards are how you get the Funkies costumes items. That could be a another way um, to, to kind of shift what Shack Daddy is all about and how they operate in the game. Um, and yet just setting setting a similar tone. You know, I'm I'm trying, sorry, I'm trying to wrap up our, mm -hmm. our talking points here. There yep. One final idea. Yeah, please. Save They're me. gonna hate it. Oh, and go by for it. Them Ubisoft. <laughs> what if oh boy. When you do Shack Daddy Bandit challenges, you earn some sort of currency or way to eventually get the RC only items in the shop. Because those are the wacky costumes, like mm -hmm. you know the one I have right now that has the royal hat and the scepter and the coat. Those are the crazy outfits, but you can only get them by paying real money into the game. So what if you could also get those items by grinding out these challenges? Because then there might be a little more incentive. Yeah, no, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, yeah, for for a community that is still there, this community is still waiting for this game to develop into its full thing you know that's not saying that the game is lacking it's just we know what's on the horizon everyone's waiting for bmx they're waiting to see what that adds to the game uh, and i really feel like that is just everyone's looking into the future they're not focused on what's happening right now they just want to get to the bmx and i really think that there's going to be a, another wave of folks you know either buying the game or jumping back into the game as soon as that is released um but until then, like we need something else. We, we need more substance. We need an easier way to bring more people into this game and not feel like they're on the clock to collect something. Give them something long term that they can work for. You know, yes, the RC uniforms, uh, the RC outfits, they do shift, you know, pretty routinely, but they're always bangers. Like they're doing a really good job at, at mm -hmm. designing those kits. So just, yeah. I really like that option. And yes, Ubisoft does not like that because that means they're not getting dollars sent directly into the game. Um, but I, I really do think that any of these, not just, you know, not all of these changes, any one of these changes would improve how Shaq Daddy Bandit challenges are perceived within the community. Um, again, not saying they're bad, just saying that this is the year one and you know, we're working out the kinks. Uh, let's take this for what this is and recognize that the devs 
are opening up community forums weekly to ask us to kind of blast the game and tell them how it is and, and what we want and what we need. Um, they are listening to us. They're making these changes and they need this input to make the game that we want to, to kind of soften the edges so that more people will keep playing and keep coming back. Um, so for a game that was kind of released a little before it should have been, before it was completely finished and, and polished up, um, I'd say they're doing a pretty bang up job of it. They're doing really well over there. Uh, thank you to the devs for opening up yet another community forum. Thank you to the community members for engaging in these community forums. Everyone's saying this community is dead. Um, look at all of these comments. <laughs> like, you know, the, it, it, it is absolutely not dead. People want this game to be good. So I'm talking in circles. Uh, let us know what you think down below. If you haven't already commented on one of the, um, on one of the community forums here, comment down in the comments and then post it at one of those links that you can find in the description. S stop. That completes my report. <laughs> We are on the back half of the main topic, which means it is once again time for the Riders Roundup. We only have two clips this week, so we're going to take some more time on them than usual. Starting off first with yet again another clip from Ian Hawk BMX. This time we are not in the skate parks in real life. We are back in Riders Republic, uh, and Ian has achieved God mode. I don't know why this is a question. It's yes, absolutely. Ian has achieved God god mode in this game uh, if you are not hip to that and you don't agree clearly you have not been paying attention yeah and i like how he started off this video by giving a little tutorial on how some of these tricks are possible mm -hmm. because it requires you getting off and on the bike or off the bike just before you crash so gives a nice little tutorial everyone can follow along learn that trick and then try and master what he's able to pull off and he has just smash that manual and wheelie and stoppy system he's making the bike look so beautiful yeah i know we've been kind of dragging on tartiflet games events but i am really terrified from when bmx comes into the game and when we hold our first event because uh lord knows what we're gonna see uh, again you can go check out ian hawk bmx over on youtube still under a thousand subscribers which is honestly just criminal uh there is also a discord channel i don't know if we're partners yet but you can find all of that through the link in the video that we provided down in the description moving on to someone stepping out of their element trying to become a god of the bikes it's Nick. It's steep, steep taking on the back trails on a mountain bike. Doesn't look like anything crazy. Looks like, you know, pretty much a basic rental mountain bike, but uh, he's crushing some downhill features here. You got to watch the whole thing. Then he is riding his dad's bike. Oh. If he's getting a new one, he's working on getting an actual mountain bike because this thing's a little old. The brakes are a little squeaky, gets <laughs> high pitched. He comments on it a lot, though. There's actually some people watching him go down a hill and they're commenting on how loud the brakes are. Um, but he's just trying to get his legs back in shape, get on the mountain bike so that he can be ready to crush some of these trails. And it looks beautiful up there. I miss yeah. those uh, kind of pine forests up in Canada. Oh, yeah. I mean, have you ever done anything like this, like at speed mountain bike cruising? Not. No, not at speed. Maybe when I was 10 with my cousin. But outside over of the that, dunes. No. Yeah. Um, whenever you and I were in North Carolina together and we recorded that intro to the riders report together, standing in front of a mountain bike trail, the, I've ridden some of those trails and they are a blast to bomb down. What I didn't expect was how much uh, forearm strength you need for this mm -hmm. like it's not so much your legs you're just bombing down these trails you need these forearms because that's just what's supporting all of your weight and they still have to maneuver the front wheel uh, i need to get back into biking as well because looking at this i'm just chomping at the bit to record a video just like this for myself um but nick stick it through we will be uh checking in throughout the summer season here to see how you progress um, the, yeah, we, we all need to get back on the bikes because this just looks like a blast. The only thing this video made me want to do is do it exactly how he did get on mm -hmm. a bike and do it for myself. Yeah. I want to try these out once again and, you know, at least hit some of the trails slower. We can do the North Carolina ones. I don't know about the real steep mountains with features. Yeah. 
yeah, give me something flat with a little bit of dirt and maybe one twig that I can cross over and we'll be we'll be good. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for episode 31 of our first 100 guaranteed episodes of the Riders Report. Oh, I forgot to say, if you have content that you would like to share with the community in any extreme sports, uh, video games, in real life, whatever, whatever you're doing out there, you can share it on the Nick and Mitch Discord server under the self-promo channel. You can find that link, yet again, say it with me, everyone, down in the description. Uh, special thanks goes out once again to our YouTube members, executive producer, Bone Crusher 2D, Coach 34, and everyone loves Gahan, along with co-producers Mitch's mom and Steep Steep, and our fans and fans plus. If you want to come become a member, you can just hit join down below, see all the cool perks. You get to watch my mom play Riders Republic. It's about 35 minutes long. She's got a ton of great comments. I know how Gahan loved that video and a couple others did too so maybe we'll have more of those it, also get it, huh? sorry it was 35 minutes too like like it was too short mm -hmm. it was 35 minutes too short i needed another like hour 10 well your dad your commented i think out. the two of them will have to race at some point we'll have we to set that. them up do a versus mode and just see what happens so Coach you want to see that video become a member and that'll come out at some point you can also just subscribe to catch all of our weekly videos here and eventually tfg yes yeah eventually tfg well let's end the episode let's talk about tfg for just a quick second we're not ending tfg by any means i know it seems like that we've been announcing like hey it's coming up it's coming up it's coming back um but you know transparency like the world's opening back up and jobs are back to normal and we did a lot of the tfg legwork during the pandemic when we had an extra 10 hours a mm -hmm. week to do stuff um and now we're getting into summer months mitch has other things going on i have other things going on so tfg is getting a bit more difficult um so we may be looking in the future for some tfg some help with tfg maybe um but we're gonna feel it out we're gonna get combo mambo out here before july that is our goal before July. We will have an event for everybody. Uh, so stick with us. We have not forgotten about it. Life is just back to normal. Uh, and we are trying to navigate that as best we can. On that note, come on back next week. Maybe we'll have a date for TFG Combo Mambo solidified and on the books. But you will catch us here again, same place, same time next week for episode 32 of the Riders Report. That is a guarantee. We'll see you there. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you in on the slopes. Yeah.